Good morning, honey. What's for breakfast? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't make any breakfast. You're running late anyway, so just have some cereal. There's Cheerios on the counter. Okay. Oh, Mom, basketball tryouts are today after school. I really hope I make the team. I'm really nervous. Oh, honey, I'm sure you'll do great. Haven't you been practicing? Yeah, Mom, I'm really good. I should make the team. I like that confidence. You need me to come pick you up after tryouts? Yeah, Chris is trying out too, so Genevieve can give me a ride home. Hey, where's Jess? You guys are going to be late. I'm coming! Jess takes a really long time to get ready. Yeah, she does. Jess, come on, let's go! I'm ready! Wait, what are you wearing? Oh, this is my new top that I, like, just got at the mall last weekend. Isn't it cute? A halter top? Jess, you cannot wear that to school. Your stomach's showing. Mom, girls wear tops like this to school, like, all the time. Like, it's no big deal. I don't care. My daughter is not going to school dressed like that. Now go change your shirt. Why, oh, you're so annoying. Hey, what's going on in here? Dad, Mom won't let me wear this shirt. I, like, really want to wear it. Please, Dad. I keep telling her that top is completely inappropriate. I'm afraid your mom's right, Jess. That top is way too short. Now go change it. Now come on, you're gonna be late. Ugh, fine. I'll go change. I mean, what is she thinking? Does she really think she looks good like that? She's probably trying to attract boys. Yeah, creepy ones. It's unbelievable how kids dress these days. Hey, I thought mom and dad told you you couldn't wear that. Just don't tell them, okay, Ryan? You're gonna get in trouble. No, I won't. The girls at school dress like this all the time. Like, I'll be fine. Jess, is that a halter top? Yeah, it is. You shouldn't wear that to school. I'll be fine, Tyler. Your parents are, like, so cool to let you wear that top, Jess. Like, my parents would literally kill me if I wore that. They didn't let me wear it free. I, like, snuck out of the house with it on. Just please don't tell my parents, okay? I would never, but, like, you really should listen to your parents, Jess. Like, you're gonna get dress coded. Yeah. I'll be fine, guys. Like, every single girl in this school breaks dress code, and, like, they never get in trouble. That doesn't make it right, Jess. I've, like, gotten dress coded before. It's not fun. It's humiliating. Yeah. You're so shy, Izzy. Yeah, Iz, like, you should talk more. I know. Hey, Izzy, I love your shorts. They're so cute. Thanks. See, like, even you're breaking dress code, Izzy. With your shorts. They, like, don't reach your fingertips. Still, she's, like, clearly more covered up than you are, Jess. Yeah. Oh, great. Here comes Miss Finley. I hope I don't get dress coded. Hey, Miss Finley. Hi, girls. Great job on your paintings. They look beautiful. Uh, thanks, Miss Finley. One thing, though, Jessica. What? Don't get me wrong, your painting is beautiful, but it needs to be more abstract. Let's work on that for the future, okay? Okay? That was close. I, like, can't believe I got away with that. I swear, Miss Finley is like the coolest teacher ever. Aw, thanks, Brianna. Like, what is it about cultural arts teachers that are, like, so cool? I know, Jess. They're, like, almost never strict. Yeah. Hey, Jess, did you get dress coded yet? Nope. I, like, told you guys I'd be fine. I don't know, Jess. It's only lunch. Yeah, like, you still have a chance of getting dress coded. Like, how many times do I have to tell you guys? I'm not gonna get dress coded. Like, no one at this school follows the dress code. So, like, how am I any different? Hey, Jess, nice stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that the kind of attention you want from boys, Jess? Yeah, they're laughing at you. Both Jack and Alex are in my language arts class, guys. They're very immature. 
Like, boys in general are very immature. They'll, like, laugh at anything. Jack is so cute. I love him. Grace, he, like, just laughed at Jess. It's fine, Bree. Is it because he's blonde? Definitely. I like guys with blonde hair. Oh, yeah, like, even Miss Ortiz didn't dress code Jess. Yeah, guys, Miss Ortiz is, like, so cool. And, like, the cool one of our cheer coaches. Miss Allen, our other cheer coach, is so strict. Yeah, Jess, like, Miss Allen would dress code you in a heartbeat. Miss Allen is, like, so mean. Makes me glad I'm not in cheer. Yeah. And, like, she's Ryan's math teacher. I, like, feel so bad for him. Oh, he's trying out for the basketball team today. Aw, good luck to him. Yeah, I hope he makes it. I've, like, seen Ryan play, guys. He's, like, really good. Yeah, guys, I think he's gonna make the team. Hey, Jessica Baldwin? Oh no, Jess, it's the assistant principal. Yeah, Jess, you're busted. Hey, Miss McCartney. Jessica, you're wearing a halter top. It's disgusting to completely expose your midriff like that and a complete violation of the dress code. Students must wear shirts that cover the entire midriff along with the chest. Also, shorts must be fingertip length. Wait, you're dress coding me? Yes, I am. Now come with me. I, like, told you this was gonna happen, Jess. Yeah, you, like, better go. Ugh, fine. I'll walk with you. This isn't fair, Liv. Like, every single person in this school breaks dress code, yet they single me out? We all tried to warn you, Jess. This is so embarrassing. I'm sorry, honey, but you have to wear that shirt for the rest of the day. Why? Because you have to cover up. I don't want to wear this. It's so big and ugly. You have to, Jess. Also, for the future, please also follow the fingertip rule with the shorts, okay? Now both of you, get to class. Jessica, you will be getting a call home about this. Oh, great. Now my parents are going to find out about this. I'm going to be grounded. You should have listened to your parents, Jess. Thank you for asking me to get Starbucks, Liv. Like, there really is nothing better than a refreshing drink after a long day at school. No problem, Jess, but I, like, still can't believe you got dress coded. I know, Liv. Like, school rules are so ridiculous. I'm, like, really glad there's no dress code in places like Starbucks. Like, outside of school, we can wear whatever we want. Yeah, Jess, that's true. I actually have to get home. I have a lot of homework to do, and then I have dance at like 6. I like better be heading home too, Liv. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Yeah, Jess, I'll see you tomorrow. Mom, I'm home. Hi, Daisy. Uh, Jess, I got a call from the school today. Did you wear that top after Dad and I told you not to? Yeah, Mom, I got dress coded. You and Dad were right. Like, even my friends tried to warn me. Jess, you went behind our back and snuck out of the house with that top on after we told you you couldn't wear it? I'm very upset with you. Wait until your dad hears about this. I'm sorry, Mom. Like, I've learned my lesson. Oh, no. Don't think you're getting away with this, Jess. You're in big trouble. I'm taking away your laptop for a week. What? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I'm your mother. Like, how am I supposed to do my homework? You can do your homework on paper. But, like, it's so much easier to just type my homework. Well, you've lost your typing privileges. But, like, writing makes my hand hurt. Well, that's what happens when you misbehave. But, Mom! No, we're not going to talk about this anymore. Your punishment is set. Any more complaining and I'll take away your laptop for two weeks. No! I made the team! Congratulations, honey. Yeah, right? Congratulations. They both did great. Guess what, Daisy? I made the basketball team. Are you happy for me, girl?
Hey, Jen. Thank you for giving Ryan a ride home. My pleasure. Did Chris make the team, too? Yes, he did. So proud of my boy. Aw, congratulations, honey. Thanks. And Jess, your science teacher is my basketball coach. Mr. Perez is your coach? You're gonna love him, Ryan. He's like one of my favorite teachers. Yeah, man, he's so cool. I'm really happy he's our coach. Yeah, Mr. Perez is so nice. He did a great job putting the kids at ease during tryouts. That's great. I'm really glad you guys have such a nice coach. I'm home. Hey, Genevieve. Hello, Dave. Hey, Dad, I made the basketball team. That's great, buddy. I knew you could do it. Hey, Chris, want to go practice in the driveway? Sure, man. Mom, we'll be outside. Okay, my love. Hey, Rye, let's go for ice cream later to celebrate. Sounds good, Dad. Yum. Ice cream? Oh, no, Jess. You're in trouble, remember? You don't get ice cream. Wait, what happened, Jess? Why are you in trouble? She completely went behind our backs and wore that halter top to school. Don't worry, honey. I punished her for what she did. This isn't fair, Dad. Girls at my school wear tops like this all the time, and they, like, never get in trouble. Like, why did I get in trouble? Because you broke the rules, honey. Just because other people are breaking the rules doesn't make it okay for you to do it. I guess you're right about that, but, like... The school even has a rule against cold shoulder tops, yet Genevieve is wearing one right now. Like, even adults break dress code. Jess, adults don't go to school. They don't have to follow a dress code. You do. That is true, I guess. Actually, Angela, I got dress coded at school plenty of times when I was Jess's age. Looking back, I think I did too, Jen. Wow, even back then schools had a dress code. Except dress codes were a lot stricter back then, honey. Like, what's the rule with shorts at your school? Fingertip length? When we were your age, our shorts had to be all the way down to our knees. You kids have it so easy nowadays. Yeah, I'm like so glad I was born in this generation. And like, don't get me wrong, Genevieve. I love your top. It's cute. Thank you, honey. Now go to your room, Jess. You're not supposed to be having fun right now. You're supposed to be punished. Fine, I'll be in my room. And take that top off right now. Why would you even buy it? That top isn't at all appropriate for someone your age. So, Jen, you want me to get you something to drink? Water? Soda? No thank you, Ange, but I appreciate it. 